So over here I have all the hard drives that I will be using into the storage upgrade that I'm planning to do. Uh, over here I have seven hard drives overall, but well, let's just let me rephrase that. Over here I have the seven hard drives that I received from ordering. Unfortunately, I did have an order for another one, but as you can see right here it says defective that's because this drive is it arrived dead on arrival started beeping wouldn't recognize wouldn't do anything so I'm in the process of getting this uh, under warranty and uh, see if I can get a replacement and everything so initially this was supposed to be eight hard drives uh, seven 18 terabytes of course I have uh, uh, six terabyte here six terabyte drives here that I received from somebody that didn't need them anymore so uh, I decided what well, like what the hell why don't I just put them in I do have another uh, 18 hard drives already connected to the system right here so uh, that will bring the total to eight 18 terabyte drives uh, with this it was supposed to be nine 18 terabyte drives so uh, yeah that's that's a damn shame like I will try to get a replacement for this I'm in the motion of trying to get this replaced and uh, it's just gonna take a long time so I wouldn't wait for it with the upgrade I'm not gonna put it on hold just for that uh -huh. I'm just uh, introducing all the drives that will be used, like all of them works, I already tested them. I did like a few benchmarks on them, everything works perfectly. So uh, I will be putting these into the system right here, my workstation. In the workstation I already have one of those, as I mentioned before, and I have another one of these two. So I'll have three 6 terabytes, uh, a one 4 terabyte Western Digital Purple, another uh, three terabyte western digital purple so uh, I'll have like four hard drives that are just you know like random hard drives that yeah like five of them that will be random and uh, then I will have uh, eight 18 terabytes all of those will all of that will go into one pool I will be using a drive pool like the stable bit drive pool software so that way I could uh, create like a perfect JBOD kind of system. Like uh, how it works over there, like it's basically turn all the drives into a simple partition, and it uh, and it takes all of them into uh, its own kind of uh, configuration array. It's uh, it's complicated to explain, but I think I got I got it like how it works. Yeah, so. Uh, Overall, I think I would uh, expect to see uh, 160 terabyte, 150. We'll see 150 something terabyte probably because uh, yeah, this doesn't work. Just deduct like 16.7 uh, terabyte from that. With this, I I should have had like uh, 170 terabyte, I think. So without this, I'll have like 150 something or 150 terabyte, some shit like that. I don't know. I mean it's unfortunate and I'm I'm gonna try to get it replaced as I mentioned before so uh, I do hope that I can get it replaced and uh, we'll see how it turns out but in the meantime I will go ahead and install everything into uh, this system all of these all this massive amount of storage uh, so yeah but uh, I am waiting on a few cables that I've ordered I will be making a video about these cables as well, uh, introducing all the cables that I've got. I've got a bunch of splitters, extenders, but I'll leave that for the other video because uh, I will be conducting this uh, upgrade pretty soon. Like the first part was the controller and this is the second part about the hard drives, the storage that I will be using it. And so uh, if you didn't see the first part of this uh, storage upgrade series like make sure you uh, go back to my channel and just watch the first part because 
then you'll see like the controller, the SAS controller that I'm gonna use that I'm using there, but obviously if you will follow through with the rest of the, the videos you'll see that that uh, controller got fried somehow like it only worked once and then it's fried so uh, I uh, had to order like uh, an HBA like a new controller a new HBA controller to uh, power those but uh, anyway I digress uh, these things are amazing. I've tested them. They're super, super fast. I, I managed to get like with uh, one of those to a 600 and something megabyte per second. So this is like an SSD level, like better than SATA SSD. I would say they're really, really fast and they're really like they're kind of noisy. I won't lie, but I'm used to work with uh, a loud server environment, so this shouldn't be a problem for me. Like I don't see, I don't foresee any problems with this. This would be perfectly fine for me. Um, they're super fast. They're super reliable, and these are new. They came new, all of them. Like they had like two counts or one count, like of power on, uh, like how many times these were powered on, and they were powered on like at least once because I asked the seller to show me the conditions of these drives prior to uh, shipping them. So. Uh, that is why, but they're new, they're like, they came pretty new, all of them, even the 6 terabytes, like, the guy that gave it away, he made a mistake and he had no choice but to uh, sell them, but he just gave it away to me, I didn't, he didn't need those anymore, he couldn't sell them, he just gave it away to me, and uh, that's how I got like 6, uh, like 3 more 6 terabytes with it, so it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so these drives are pretty awesome. I can't wait to see like how they perform together once I hook it up to the system that I have over here, the workstation. And uh, yeah, I will be making a video about that too. That will be the final part of the system upgrade, of the storage upgrade. And uh, that will be part four. Like part three will be the cables, as I mentioned. And uh, the part four, uh, that will be the final part of this that's that uh, mini series uh, that'll be when I uh, plug everything together like put all of this in the system and uh, we'll take a look by the end of it I should have like I said I should have like 150 something terabyte not claimed like the actual size like claimed I would think like it would be like uh, 160 something but the actual size would be 150 unfortunately now with this setback of this uh, <coughs> drive over here but I hope this will get replaced as well and I will uh, be able to uh, be able to uh, buy a new one to, or to get a replacement for that and uh, that way I will have nine of those which is even even crazier than that so uh, yeah, th this is pretty much it. I mean, uh, I'm pretty impressed with those. I'm, I'm, I have nothing else to say about that. We need to see that in action. That will come in part four of this uh, series when I put them in and everything. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, if you want to follow up and uh, catch up on this, uh, make sure you're uh, subscribed to stay tuned and uh, you can see how it goes down. So this is uh, pretty much uh, about this video about the Seagate Exos uh, 18 terabyte Exos X18. Sorry, Exos 18, X18, uh, and also uh, the Seagate six terabytes. Like it's a mixture of those. But uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I uh, I encourage you to stay tuned for the rest of those because this is gonna be pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.